Hello, this session is about osteoporosis. For those of you who do not know the meaning of osteoporosis, as you can see on your screen, osteoporosis is a condition in which the bones become so brittle that they fracture easily. And I'd like to bring this to your attention uh, because a lot of times uh, this condition goes uh, unnoticed and untreated. So beware all viewers. This is the two part presentation. You are now watching the first part. Now I would like to bring to your attention a term called bone health. When we talk about our uh, health in general, we are uh, uh, thinking about uh, controlling our cholesterol, uh, salt uh, and maybe fat intake and so on. But uh, we do not typically pay attention to what is important to maintain good bone health. So what exactly do we need to know about this? Now first of all, understand that our bones keep getting longer and stronger starting from birth up to early adulthood. Now we always tell our children to drink plenty of milk and eat calcium rich foods primarily for this reason. Now this is very important for you to remember that the maximum bone mass meaning the maximum bone strength bone mass is reached by the time we, re we are 30 years old. It is, um, I would say, extremely important therefore for uh, young adults uh, to drink a lot of milk and eat low fat dairy products so they can um, accumulate uh, strong bones in their early adulthood which is going to help keep them stronger throughout their lives. Now after we cross 30, our bone mass, it starts declining gradually and this happens it's a very slow process it happens over the ensuing years but this bone strength or bone mass will decrease a lot more rapidly if we do not eat enough calcium and if we do not exercise on a regular basis on top of that if we have certain other risk factors which I'm going to talk about in a minute that is going to make the situation even worse leading to a condition known as osteoporosis. So what is osteoporosis? Most importantly what I'd like to keep in mind is that osteoporosis is a medical condition. It is a disease process. It is not a normal part of aging. Just because you're getting older doesn't mean you automatically get osteoporosis. It happens only in certain situations. Now as our age advances it certainly makes the bones weaker but absolutely does not lead to osteoporosis. So what happens in osteoporosis? In this condition the architecture of the bone, the internal architecture of the bone it undergoes gradual destruction. As a result the bones start becoming more hollow on the inside and of course they start losing their internal their innate strength and on top of that because of these mechanisms that are going on they become very brittle and break easily. So if someone has osteoporosis what's going to happen is that even minor impact can lead to a fracture. As you can imagine the bones have already become very thin and hollow so a minor injury or impact such as uh, lifting a heavy bag, uh, bending or uh, a, a slip and fall accident in the house can lead to uh, a fractured bone. In this image you can see a uh, comparison between uh, normal bone and an osteoporotic bone. Uh, the image on the left hand side is normal bone and the right hand side image is the bone with osteoporosis. This is the internal structure of uh, the bone that is being shown in this picture the image uh, of the normal bone is uh, you can see that uh, the network is a lot more thicker and the bony walls within the uh, structure of the bone the inside of the bone are uh, extremely uh, thick and uh, closely knit whereas on the right hand side uh, in the bone with osteoporosis it's a lot more um, open thin and uh, the meshwork is not as compact so this basically is what happens in osteoporosis is that um, the internal structure becomes a lot more uh, hollow and uh, uh, thinner walls and 
um, weaker structure as a result leading to easy fractures. Do you have any history of the following kidney or liver disease, Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis these are digestive tract diseases, rheumatoid arthritis, premature menopause, menopause in uh, the 30s or early 40s, diabetes or certain other medical conditions. Do you take any medicines for convulsions or fits? The more yes responses you give, the higher your risk for osteoporosis and therefore a fracture. Now I should mention that uh, there are many other conditions that can also increase your risk for osteoporosis and also there are many other types of medicines that can affect bone health that is beyond the scope of this presentation so I am not going to go over them. Now I mentioned earlier about some um, factors that could increase your risk for getting osteoporosis. Let's go over them in detail. Have you ever taken steroids? Steroids such as prednisolone. Prednisolone is sold under many brand names in India. Visalone is one of them, commonly used for um, asthma attacks and uh, certain other medical conditions. Uh, Omnicortal, Nucort, or other brands of uh, steroids. Have you taken them for more than three months at any point in time? Have you ever had any major or minor fracture as an adult? Do you smoke? Do you chew tobacco? Do you drink alcohol? Did your mother or father ever have a hip fracture? Is your milk and curd intake very low? And when I say very low, I'm, uh, I mean uh, less than two cups of milk and two cups of uh, curd daily. I'd like to mention a few important facts about osteoporosis. It's widely prevalent in India, but unfortunately most people have no idea that they have it. It affects women more than it does men. Now if you have one or more risk factors that we discussed before, you are at increased risk for developing osteoporosis so keep this in mind. And uh, also important for you to know is that osteoporosis absolutely causes no pain. Main problem with osteoporosis as we have seen uh, earlier is that uh, the bones become brittle and therefore they fracture easily. And of course any bone fracture will be painful. And most common sites for bone fracture in osteoporosis are uh, hip the spine or the backbone and wrist. Remember if you have osteoporosis there is a good chance that your bones can break very easily and sometimes all it takes is a minor injury or impact for these bones to break. In this picture we can see the changes uh, that are going on in the spine from osteoporosis. The red colored bones in the backbone are uh, the ones that have been affected by osteoporosis. So basically a person's spine is erect to begin with and uh, with time from osteoporosis the spine starts losing its normal uh, curvature, starts bending more because these uh, bones that have osteoporosis uh, cannot hold the weight of the spine well and they sort of crush upon each other and over time the bending of the spine becomes even more noticeable and uh, to the point where that uh, the person uh, will uh, become shorter with a stooped back and um, this of course uh, would mean that uh, they are at uh, higher risk for um, having uh, fractures elsewhere in the body also. In part 2 of this presentation we will go into um, the issues regarding managing osteoporosis as well as uh, how to prevent and uh, take care of uh, osteoporosis.